The scaled composite Stratolaunch is an aircraft being built for Stratolaunch systems by scaled composites to carry air launch to orbit rockets. It was announced in December 2011 and rolled out in May 2017. Its first launch demonstration is scheduled for 2019. The twin fuselage design is the largest by wingspan, could carry a 550,000 pounds t payload for a 1,300,000 pounds t pounds maximum takeoff weight. Topic: <laughs> Development. In early 2011, Dynetics began studying the project and had approximately 40 employees working on it at the December 2011 public announcement. Stratolaunch originally planned to airlaunch the Falcon 9 Air by SpaceX, whose efforts began shortly before December. Launching medium-sized payloads with the Falcon 9 dictated the aircraft size but SpaceX departed a year later. In May 2012, its specially constructed hangar was being built in Mojave Air and Space Port. In October 2012, the first of two manufacturing buildings, a 88,000 square feet 8,200 square meters facility for construction of the composite sections of the wing and fuselage, was opened for production. In August 2013, the Pegasus II was selected for the air launch vehicle. In August 2014, all solid fuel propulsion was preferred to liquid fuel for the Orbital Sciences launcher. In August 2015, 200,000 lb of structure was assembled. By June 2016, scaled composites had 300 people working on the project. Virgin Galactic also plans to air launch small satellites with the launcher one from a 747. Orbital ATK dropped its Thunderbolt rocket project for medium class payloads. In October 2016, the Pegasus II was replaced by multiple Pegasus XL mounted underneath the carrier aircraft. Developments of the original Pegasus rocket, which had been launched 42 times since 1990. Topic: <laughs> Testing. On May 1, 2017, Stratolaunch already had spent hundreds of millions of dollars on the project. On May 31, the aircraft was rolled out for fueling tests and to be prepared for ground testing, engine runs, taxi tests, and ultimately first flight, on track for a 2019 first launch demonstration. By then, it may have competition from the DARPA XS-1 or from Vector Space Systems. By September, engine testing was underway as well as testing of "...control surfaces and electric, pneumatic and fire detection systems." In December, 2017, its first low-speed taxi test took it to 25 knots 46 km per hour powered on the runway by its six turbofans, to test its steering, braking, and telemetry. It began higher speed taxi tests in 2018, reaching 40 knots 74 km per hour in February. It reached 78 kn, 140 kilometers per hour in October of that year. On January 9, 2019, Stratolaunch completed a 110 knot, 219 kilometers per hour taxi test and released an accompanying photo of the nose landing gear lifted off the ground during the test. Topic design Stratolaunch has a twin fuselage configuration, each 238 feet 73 meters long and supported by 12 main landing gear wheels and two nose gear wheels, for a total of 28 wheels. 
The twin fuselage configuration is similar to the scaled composite's White Knight II. Each fuselage has its own impenage with horizontal and vertical stabilizers, leaving a clear area behind the payload to reduce the risk of interference during flight. The pilot, copilot and flight engineer will be in the right fuselage cockpit, while the left fuselage one is empty and unpressurized. The flight data systems are in the left fuselage at 385 feet, 117 meters. It is the largest plane by wingspan to be compared to a 360 feet, 110 meters American football field. The center section of the high mounted, high aspect ratio wing is fitted with a mating and integration system MIS, capable of handling a 500,000 pounds t load, being developed by Dynetics. Stratolaunch is powered by six Pratt and Whitney PW4056 engines positioned on pylons outboard of each fuselage, 56,750 lbf, 252.4 kilonewtons each. To cut development costs, many of the aircraft systems have been adopted from the Boeing 747-400, including the engines, avionics, flight deck, landing gear and other systems. It will require 12,000 feet 3, meters of runway to lift off. It should release its rocket at 35,000 feet 11,000 meters. It will carry a 550,000 pounds t payload. With a Pegasus II, it could deliver up to 13,500 pounds t satellites to LEO or 4,500 pounds t to a 15 degrees GTO. It could launch a Dream Chaser small space shuttle capable of return astronauts or payloads within 24 hours. Within scaled composites, its model number is M351. It is nicknamed Rock after Sinbad's Rock, the mythical bird so big it could carry an elephant. Topic specifications Stratolaunch Systems Carrier Data from Stratolaunch General Characteristics Length 238 feet 73 meters wingspan 385 feet 117 meters height 50 feet 15 meters empty weight 500,000 pounds 226,796 kilograms gross weight 750,000 pounds 340,194 kilograms with no external payload max takeoff weight 1,300,000 thousand pounds five hundred eighty nine thousand six hundred seventy kilograms external payload five hundred fifty thousand pounds two hundred fifty thousand kilograms power plant six times Pratt and Whitney PW four o five six turbofan fifty six thousand seven hundred fifty lbf two hundred fifty two four kilonewtons thrust each Maximum speed, 461 kn, 853 km per hour, 530 miles per hour. Range, 1000 nmi, 1151 miles, 1852 km, radius. Ferry range, 2500 nmi, 2877 miles, 4630 kilometers. Topic. See also. Airborne aircraft carrier. Air launch ballistic missile related development. Pegasus rocket. Scaled Composites White Knight Aircraft of Comparable Role, Configuration and Era Conroy Virtus Related Lists List of Large Aircraft <laughs>